I thought I would just take you over and show you my actual sites um, and how each of them really function very differently. So uh, we'll start off with Hunter Paper Co. And now that um, I've kind of worked through all of those um, kind of like all of those marketing areas and really established those two brands separately, I set up Hunter Paper Co. website just to be very, very simple. Um, you click on the site and you're just directly taken to where you need to go. So I've kept the navigation really simple. Like everyone who comes to the site is going to be a different type of customer. You're either going to be a business customer and um, looking for wholesale, or we also do wedding stationery. So um, you could be a bride or groom looking for wedding stationery, or you'll be a retail customer looking to buy our products. So I just wanted everyone who comes to the site to find exactly where they needed to go. Um, so yeah, it just like has a really simple um, navigation at the top, um, just a little bit of imagery to explain who we are. And then I've broken it down into exactly where you need to go. And really when I kind of took myself through each customer journey and once they clicked on the site, like how quickly could they get to where they needed to go? Um, so I just wanted the first page to just have that space that, you know, you land on the site, you know where you need to go, and then you click on from there. And then lastly, if you can't find where you need to go or you have any other questions, you can just chat to me. And yeah, just keep kept it as simple as that. There's a, a navigation at the bottom for someone, uh, you know, if they have FAQs or anything like that, or to find out a little bit more about me, um, they can do so there. So yeah, that's... Um, I set this site up on Squarespace, just as Krishma said, it's so easy to just, um, you know, navigate the site yourself and just add a site really quickly. So I probably built this site in about two days and I really feel like anyone who has any kind of background on the internet, you know, if you've used Facebook, if you've uploaded photos to Instagram, I think you could probably um, get a pretty basic Squarespace site in place. So yeah, it's great for that sort of basic site that just needs to direct people where they need to go. Um, so then I'll take you over to Hunt and Gather. This is our retail site and I host it on um, Shopify. So you can host e-commerce on Squarespace, but it just doesn't give you the same capabilities as Shopify. And I actually started on Squarespace with um, the Hunt and Gather site, but just find that it it was too clunky <laughs> to kind of um, uh, serve that big inventory that uh, I now have. So we very quickly moved over to Hunt and Gather and or to uh, Shopify, and it's been great for um, for just hosting e-commerce. It uh, tracks your inventory, so when you're running low on products, you're not going to run out. Um, and yeah, it's it as great for analytics and that sort of thing as well, and also adding in different apps like um, I have added in my email software and that sort of thing. So yeah, it's brilliant for um, for e-commerce, but I definitely think you could start on Squarespace if you just want that minimum viable product. Um, so in terms of the design and the reason we've gone for a lot of this, so just wanted to keep it as simple as we possibly could. We have a really big inventory now, especially of my own products and then other products that we bring in. Um, so I really took a lot of time over the navigation trying to work out the best um, system that like any customer that landed on the site would see exactly where they needed to go in as few clicks as possible. Um, so we drew out different um, different ideas for this uh, just on a piece of paper and just worked out, you know, if you were looking for a notebook, what would be the best way for you to click through to that or scissors or whatever else. Um, and then like gift guides and things like that, we just tried to keep it as simple as possible, but there is a lot there. Um, and then from there, we decided that a slider that kind of moves across your screen, um, nobody really looks past the first one or two. So I built this um, masonry kind of uh, layout, like a grid. Um, and then from that, I think you can just really easily find uh, where you want to go. So if you're looking for cards, you know, it's straight there. Um, then below that, we just highlight um, what's really current at the moment. So at the mo moment, we're really pushing uh, Mother's Day because it's coming up in March. Um, so we've got a little selection there and you can click through to a whole range of Mother's Day items. And then we like to keep uh, new arrivals on the front page as well. 
um, it just constantly updates. We try and update that weekly and then it shows customers that are coming back again and again that you know we're constantly updating, we're constantly fresh and really treating your front page of your website like your shop window. Um, you know, if you've seen a really nice shop that you loved, it would constantly be changing that window to try and entice you in really. So um, yeah, just really trying to keep it cu customer focused um, really thinking about how the customer navigates through the site and um, you know where they would click first, where they, how many clicks it would take them to get to where they need to be and really trying to keep it as much like a shop window. I always keep that in my head as I go. 